The Temiskaming Art Gallery and the Open Studio Libre is proud to present the Temiskaming Palette and Brush Club in Sunlight and Shadow with guest judge John Paul Ravel. Light by Brenda Henderson. Watercolor cut out and mounted on birch gallery panel. 12 by 10. This piece is priced at $175. The artist writes about the painting. The light was perfectly shining in the window on our Christmas cactus. The detail was fun to paint. Savannah Sun by Brenda Henderson. Watercolor on 300 pound cold press. 11 and a half inches by 15 inches. Priced at $300 unframed. About the painting, the artist writes, The gaze of these African buffalo as they gathered in the heat inspired this painting. I have to thank my brother-in-law, Rob Henderson, for the use of his amazing photos as reference. Brenda Henderson has always had an interest in art. Watercolor is her preferred medium, although she has dabbled in acrylic, pastel, and collage. Her favorite subjects are animals, people, plants, and landscapes. She's intrigued by light, shadows, and detail, and incorporates them into most of her work. Brenda Henderson is an active member of both the Temiskaming Palette and Brush Club and the Northern Ontario Art Association. In the Shadows of Sunshine by Walter Pape. Acrylic painting, 24 by 18 inches, priced at $490. About the painting. We live in a society of splendor and privileges. Glitzy condos in high rises next to corporate office towers. A bit further multi-million dollar homes, expensive restaurants, Dior stores, etc. And then we have the forgotten ones who have nothing, live on the streets or, if lucky, under a bridge and have to beg for food. In a Tower of San Gimigano, Tuscany by Walter Pape. Acrylic painting, 16 by 20 inches, priced at $400. The artist writes about the painting. Standing in a tower in Europe, in the dark, almost no light coming in. Just a little slot, seeing the scenery beyond. It is the beauty of that small view in the sunshine which inspired me to create this painting. The Artist Bio From his early 20s, Walter has realized his artistic side. As a trained civil engineer, he is used to detail and precision, which reflects in his creative artwork he does now. He works in oil and watercolor mediums, but recently has become enthused about the various printmaking techniques, especially intaglio and lino cut printmaking. Walter was raised and educated in Germany. In 1966, he moved with his wife Maria to New Liskard. He took art classes early on with various well-known artists. Walter was one of the founding members of the Palette and Brush Club. As an active participant in the art community, Walter joined the executive of the Temiskaming Art Gallery and has been the chair for over 20 years, later becoming the treasurer. Walter resigned from the board of executives in 2017, but will continue to be an active volunteer for TAG for the years to come. Walter frequently exhibits his work and has work in many private and public collections throughout Canada and Europe. Serengeti Referee by James Hawken. Medium charcoal, eight by 10 inches, priced at $80. This painting is done on white charcoal 
on black cardstock paper. James Hawken is a Temiskaming Shores artist who works primarily in graphite and charcoal pencil drawings. He is a self-taught artist, a semi-retired civil engineer, and a newcomer to the art world, having just started his drawing career in 2016. He has improved his skills through online tutorials, and in September of 2017, he attended a portrait drawing workshop in Boston, Massachusetts with renowned American pencil artist J.D. Hilbury. Fishing View, Northern Lake by Colette Belanger, Watercolor. 11 by 15 inches, priced at $250 unframed. The artist says, I have had this reference for some time, as I have fished the many northern lakes and always loved the shoreline, trees, and rocks. I cannot recall the lake, but the completion of this painting had me imagine the warmth I felt from the sunshine while fishing. Pete's Dam, March 2020, by Colette Belanger. Watercolor painting, 11 by 15 inches, priced at $250, unframed. About the painting. I had joined the Temiskaming Palette and Brush Club in fall of 2019, so I was looking for a subject matter for sunlight and shadows. I hiked Pete's Dam Trail in March 2020 and recorded the scene with photos, videos, and mental notes. The painting was completed only this year, and playing the video brought my senses back to the scene. I worked on adding the light first using primary color scheme and ended with adding the shadows. Colette Boulanger joined the Temiskaming Palette and Brush Club in 2019. She started creating art in 1999, learning to draw, paint, and compose from various artists. She honed her skills in acrylic and watercolor over the years and found nature was her biggest muse. She was accepted into the 35th anniversary of TAG juried exhibition, as well as having her first acceptance into the 64th NOAA annual exhibition in 2020. She has sold many of her paintings privately and has done commission work as well. She has a long career in nursing, serving in this community since 1982. Paddling at Sunset by Myra McCarthy. Watercolor painting, 23 by 23 inches framed, priced at $300. A paddler silhouetted against a brilliant sunset, the sun just breaking the surface before disappearing in minutes, shifting the world into shadows. Tulips by Myra McCarthy. Chalk pastel drawing, 26 by 30 inches framed, priced at $300. A still life of objects, refracting light while a floral arrangement absorbs it. Myra McCarthy attended high school in Kirkland Lake, and it was there that she took her first classes, taught by Helen O'Neill. She also took night classes from watercolor artist Sheila Langlois. Once moving to Hillebury, she became a member of the Palette and Brush Club and attended numerous workshops given by various artists over 45 years. Myra has acquired her NOAA letters approximately 20 years ago. One of Myra's paintings won first prize in the Northern Telephone Phone Book competition and she has painted many murals and wall illustrations both locally and when she winters in Florida. Her works have been exhibited in group exhibitions throughout the years, and she has given many workshops to her peers, to children, and to seniors and local retirement homes. Sunrise on Lake Temiskaming by Shirley Gilson. Photo credit to Lisa Neal. 
This acrylic on stretched canvas measures 12 by 16 inches and is priced at $200. About the painting, the artist writes, Lisa Nielsen was posting her photographs on Facebook and I was very impressed with this particular one, so I decided to paint it with Lisa's permission. Shed in My Backyard by Shirley Gilson. This watercolor painting is 10 by 14 inches and is priced at $375. My backyard gets very interesting shadows during all seasons, as well as interesting birds, wildflowers, and wildlife. This winter scene is the inspiration for this painting. Shirley Gilson has displayed her work at the Classic Theatre Mezzanian Gallery. She started to develop an interest in watercolour after taking a workshop with Laura Landers in 2017. She has been a member of the Temiskaming Palette and Brush Club as well as the Temiskaming Art Gallery. Laura has been instrumental in developing Shirley's love of painting. Since then she has tried her hand at acrylic, pastel, and mixed media and attended a watercolor pour workshop with Brenda Henderson. Shirley started drawing and crafting with her grandchildren were very young. She used to host Saturday morning crafting classes in her home for many years. This included painting on rocks and many of them are still displayed in her various flower beds. Shirley also has a love of writing poetry and has had some of her works published. Painting has become a source of relaxation and fulfillment in her life. Devil's Rock Fantasy by Bonnie Halley. Alcoholic inks, 16 by 13 inches, priced at $250. About the painting, the artist writes, this work was done from my imagination and not specific details. I wanted to show the feeling of this area called Devil's Rock. Shades of Birch by Bonnie Halley. Acrylic painting, 16 by 36 inches not for sale. About the painting, the artist writes, I want to show simple birch trees in black and white only, creating depth and also showing their beauty. Born in Port Huron, Michigan, mostly self-taught, Pawnee attended many art workshops, the Cobalt Artist Colony and La Cloche Art Week. I love trying different mediums. I always try to put my feelings into my art somewhere, either by subject matter, choice of colors, or imaginative compositions, to be different. I have displayed in La Croche Country Art Show, NOAA, Sudbury Theatre Centre, Sudbury Art Gallery, Studio 1219 in Port Huron, Michigan, and at the Open Studio Libre. Girl Overlooking Lake Temiskaming at Noon by Susan Welsh. Acrylic on canvas, 12 by 16 inches, priced at $150. The girl on the bench is taken from a photo my husband took of me on one of our summer walks at the French High School. I always love the view of our majestic body of water that we live on. by Susan Welsh. Mixed media rice paper and acrylic paint on wood panel, measuring 24 by 18 inches and priced at $200. About the painting, the artist writes, Walk into the forest is inspired by a photo I took at a pull-off on the way to Kirkland Lake. Susan Welsh's artist bio. 
I started painting when I became a Temiskaming Palette and Brush Club member some 10 years ago. Starting out with watercolors with Laura Landers and then developed into acrylic paint. I have taken many courses through the years. The Cobalt Artist Colony and Peter John Reed. I enjoy painting landscapes on different mediums. The group of seven is my favorite type of painting and I particularly like Emily Carr. Brittany with Pheasants by Jen Glassford. Watercolor painting, 11 by 14 inches, not for sale. About the painting. A young Brittany Spaniel standing beside retrieved pheasant birds. Jen Glassford is a pet enthusiast whose main art interests include capturing dogs in watercolor and digital mediums. She resides in New Liskert, Ontario, and owns a pet grooming business as her vocation. A New Dawning by Laura Landers Watercolor painting, 16 by 28 inches framed, priced at $850. Last snow on the ground, lake just semi-frozen, the view from my window opens to a spectacular sunrise. Early risers' lights are lit as dawn approaches and a magnificence of this Halebury scene tempts me to try and capture it. Sunlight and shadow in communion with one another was my inspiration. Late Summer Lights by Laura Landers Watercolor, 21 by 28 inches framed at $500. Working upon an underpainting of golds and siennas and leaving the rest to be formed within these light patterns, the old barn emerged. I allowed the underpainting to be my foliage, sky tones and transparent light. Laura Landers has displayed her work in solo and group exhibitions. Laura was honored as a distinguished artist in 2012 at the annual Le Cloche Art Show in Whitefish Falls, Ontario, and has proudly earned her NOAA letters. She also has received multiple OAC art grants and awards over the years for her artistic endeavors and workshops and is an active member of the Temiskaming Palette and Brush Club. Laura teaches many workshops in basic drawing, pastel, and watercolor. Her series, entitled Slices of Temiskaming, has toured and was published in a book under the same name. Laura also created a series entitled Slices of Manitoulin that has been available on the island and online. For many years, Laura has been in the custom framing business and promoting local and regional artists and has a little art shop, Laura's Art Shop, in Cobalt, Ontario. Foggy Winter Morning by Carmen Canton Watercolor painting, 10 and a half inches by 14 and a half inches, not for sale. About this painting, the artist writes, Looking at the river in front of my house, I try to capture those special colors in the sky, the fogginess and the broken ice slowly moving downstream, providing movement in the stillness of that cold February morning. Pete Stamp Park by Carmen Canton. Watercolor painting, 14 and a half by 10 and a half inches, priced at $250. About the painting. Sitting on a flat rock, I enjoyed the view of those fallen giants, listening to the gentle babbling of the water in that quiet environment. Carmen Canton is a multidisciplinary artist. She has been working in glass since 1989, stained glass and fusing. She experienced in sculpture and poetry. 
Her love of light brought her naturally towards watercolor, which she has enjoyed since 2007. The Shadow by Jerry Jordanson Acrylic on canvas, 32 by 24 and a half inches, priced at $450. About the painting, the artist writes, the shadow in this painting provokes tension and questions of why. There's a Fork in the Road by Jerry Jordison. Acrylic on canvas, 24 by 20 inches, priced at $250. This surrealistic painting attempts to kindle lightheartedness and wonder for the viewer. Jerry Jordison has been an active member of the Temiskimi Palette and Brush Club since 1998. Currently, he is the president of the club. He held a one-person show in 2016 titled Deviant Soul in Inglehart. His art usually diverges from the traditional images of nature, creating paintings that convey philosophical messages. Colors of the Spirit This is part of a triptych by Biaya Etker. The first in the series is entitled Warm Sun, 20 by 24 inches, double matted, acrylic on birch bark. This piece is priced at is reflection 21 inches by 24 inches triple matted this piece is priced at $375 the last in the triptych is entitled love nature Again, acrylic on birch bark, 20 by 24 inches, double matted, Love Nature is priced at $325. Assembled, the triptych is priced at $1,000 and is entitled Colors of the Spirit. About the painting, the artist writes, Why birch bark? Many years ago, when I was processing firewood in the backyard, I was amazed by the completeness of the birch bark. Ideas began coming to me to use acrylic paint on birch bark as my canvas. From what I collected in the art club room and three of the afternoon painting sessions, I came up with this triptych it is born from my love of natural landscape. Bia Ye Lin Etker joined the Palette and Brush Club in 2006, inspired by many artists and impressed by their wisdom and kindness. Through years of practicing and exercise, I then allowed myself to paint freely with a variety of medium Encouraged by paintings sold and awards in shows during the process, I feel thankful for the art I create. A message from the judge. John Paul Gravel writes, I am delighted to be asked to be the judge for your virtual sunlight and shadow show. I'm happy you are expressing yourself by creating meaningful art. 
I hope you will keep painting and developing at whatever stage you are at now. I am totally inspired by your work. Art is the very thing to do, both for you and for the people who see it. The Tamiskaming Palette and Brush Club also wishes to thank the following organizations who donated prize money for the show and to express their congratulations to the four winners of this year's show. The Nora Visser Memorial Award goes to Brenda Henderson for her painting, Savannah Sun. The Rotary Cub winner is Myra McCarthy for her painting, Paddling at Sunset. The winner of the SMC Canada Limited Award goes to Carmen Canton for her piece, Pete's Dam Park. And last but not least is the winner of the David C. Bridges Award, Colette Belanger, for her painting, Pete's Dam, March 2020.